I tell, sometimes when you're, when you're talking to people, you have a way of introducing yourself. Tell them what you say. Oh, that people will say, well, what should we call you? I say, your adequacy. <laughs> <laughs> they, want to, they want to be very yeah. careful, you know. Don't, yeah. don't you also say something, I'm the man that you... Oh, I used, to, I used to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not funny, though. <laughs> She told, so, she told somebody the other day, I went to sleep with a recovering politician and I woke up with a movie star. <laughs> I think, of, you yeah. know, I, I just remember that Ren 1010 was a movie star also. <laughs> so, I, and I'm old enough to know that a red carpet's just a rug. Uh, and sometimes they pull the rug off. That's right, that's right, that's right. Sometimes they do, yeah. Chipper, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, after the 2000 presidential election, I heard that you encouraged him to reach back to the things that were most important to him that he was most passionate about, like the environment. Is that what kept your spirits up and kept you moving forward after that whole... It, it is. I mean, I think that was a tough period, certainly, for, for the country, for us. And so one way for us to get through it was to go back uh, to our roots. And I found the slides that he used to give, and he gave the slide presentation again a couple of times and then we said, you know what, PowerPoint these days, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. So now he's, he converted it to PowerPoint, a great presentation, which he has given about mm -hmm. a thousand times. He's a brilliant all around teacher. The world. He's a good I, teacher yeah, and he's wonderful. Be brilliant. The yeah. first time I gave the slideshow in a Kodak uh, carousel, yeah. I, I gave it at Middle Tennessee State University, not far from where we live, and every slide was backwards. <laughs> yeah, and a yeah. big auditorium full of people. Is it your fault that I was shot one <laughs> You might call Carl Rove. <laughs> no. So you, you, you had so many pearls of wisdom in this movie, and one of them was, you said, um, between despair, you said between denial and despair, yeah. there's something that we forget, which is doing something. Yeah, right. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. What That's okay. can I, as, I'm not a, in Congress, I'm not a senator, what do I, what can I... You don't tell this do? until, over the credits, you have to stay until the end of this movie, over the credits you do all the individual things yeah. that we can do. I mean, I don't think that when I take my cell phone off, that I should also unplug the, yeah. the yeah. cell phone. Right. What are the things that we can... What we can do. Be a conscious consumer. Uh, go to the website, climatecrisis.net, which will show you how you can even be what they call carbon neutral, which is not a new version of the Atkins diet. It's actually completely <laughs> eliminating uh, the carbon dioxide that you're responsible for, offsetting what you can't. Uh, the book gives a lot more Turn off your computer. Action. Turn sure. off your computer. You can use the um, uh, energy-saving light bulbs. We've known each other for a long time, yeah. and it's just such a pleasure to have both of you on uh, with us together. Yeah, yeah. And we want to tell people, again, we don't endorse a lot of things. We talk about a lot of movies, but yeah. it's rare that we say to people, it's yes. very important to see this and It'll, it'll frighten you, too. Yeah, yeah. And it'll inspire you. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes. So uh, I just want to tell you that an inconvenient truth, truth, truth is in theaters right now. Yes. That's correct. Okay. It, a theater near you. And the book is in a bookstore. <laughs> near, near you. <laughs> right. Yeah. And everyone in our audience is getting a copy <laughs> of the book. cellulite or thick moisturizer will keep wrinkles away, you may be wasting your time because right now we're finding out the truth behind the 10 biggest beauty myths from beauty expert Jen Dollar. Welcome, Jen. Thank you. So what about um, antiperspirant? When antiperspirant. People say that it's people not safe. They cause cancer. Yeah, no. So, Alzheimer's? People, I haven't heard that one yet, but anyway, well, the breast cancer myth, yeah. doctors say it hasn't really been proven yet. There's nothing. It was a big internet rumor that just no one really knows where that one came from, okay. but we don't know if that's really true. So. Uh -huh. Antiperspirants are completely safe. One thing that's great is Adidas one, people love that doesn't use aluminum. So if you are still scared about Alzheimer's or whatever it is, aluminum is what people think causes it. Yeah, and there are this doesn't have aluminum too. Donna Karen has a really great one that I love that I use. It's an antiperspirant deodorant. Designer deodorant? Designer deodorant. I had no, no idea. What has the world I know, right? Well, what about skin? I, I have dry skin. I, I always thought acne came from oily skin and dry skin caused wrinkles. Is that true? No, actually wrinkles are caused by the breakdown of collagen under the skin. If your skin's dry, you'll notice them more, but that's not the cause. The cause is when collagen breaks down. 
So you can use for long-term effects, something like this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Dermatologists love this. How much is that? This is an expensive one. This is, looks like this is like an investment. But you don't need to use that much of it, and you use it every day, and it builds up collagen. For so dermatologists quick, recommend this? Dermatologists and physicians, they love this you product. Says it it, it has a big cult favorite. It's a big cult brand in the UK. Something else that this is actually created by dermatologists is hyaluronic acid is also known, you inject it as Restylane, but topically it's hyaluronic acid. It plumps up the skin. So this is from MD Skincare, and this is a pure hyaluronic acid mask that will plump up your skin. Okay. So we, we, have teeth. Teeth. Some, I see some white, whitening teeth. Yes. Here. Is that working? I... Every, well, everyone thinks that tooth, whitening toothpaste is going to whiten your teeth, and dentists will tell you time and time again it's not going to do that much. It'll, it'll polish your teeth and it'll mm -hmm. get stains off. But for whitening, you need something that sits on your teeth, like a Crest White Strip that's going to really penetrate. And this is kind of interesting from Listerine. It adds a little boost to your brush by loosening up stains before you actually brush so your teeth will get more of a whitening effect. So you're saying that our whitening toothpaste is, the same, is essentially the same what? as regular toothpaste? Well, I don't, maybe it'll be a little more abrasive to get stains off, but by no means is it going to give you the same effect as an actual whitening treatment. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. We're, we're getting through the myths today, yeah. lady. <laughs> what about hydrating the skin? Water? Is it, no matter how much water you drink, does it matter? Water is good for you. Your skin is part of your overall body system. So, yeah, water is going to be great. But it's mm -hmm. not the end all be all of hydration. You need to apply a topical moisturizer. What about the sprays? You know, those sprays are great. Those work for your skin. Something yeah. I would think about when you get in the tub and you're soaked in water, your skin kind of prunes up and sort of feels dry when you get out. Right. So, you need to put something topical on that's really going to hydrate. So, Clinique has this great moisture online. It's a gel cream, so it's not too heavy. Yeah, let me try Some it. people like that. No. Oh, that, yeah, this is with Clinique. And oh, this, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, it's that's really great. nice, it's right? Like it's really dramatically nice. different. Wait, but then this, this is the hardcore. This is from Fresh. Yeah, what's the hardcore? This is intense. You've got to dig your fingers in there. Well, this is like, like it, Crisco. Yeah, this is called <laughs> Cream of the end. This is made by monks in the Czech Republic. Yeah. And this is like super, super monks? Monks. Yeah, monks. Yeah, hey. Are they dry? Who knew? No, they're very moist. <laughs> they're very moist because they're using that. So this is really great from Fresh. It is expensive, but, you know, for so I'll take this with me. You and can take it. <laughs> Put that one in your pocket. Yeah, right. Right. No, no, no one saw. I have another big one. This is a huge thing for me. Yes. Shaving does not cause your hair to grow back thicker. It's an optical illusion. I don't believe it. It's you. a complete optical illusion. <laughs> because think about it. When you shave, it's just you're cutting it off above the root. So it's not going to really make your hair grow okay. differently. Okay. On my leg, I've been shaving. I should, from my knee up, I've never shaved. It's bare. From my knee down, some girl in the sixth grade told me yeah. to start shaving, and it grows like wildfire. What is your thing? I mean, it just could be the way that you're crazy. No, you're lucky, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, instead of shaving, because shaving the angle that you cut it at when your hair grows back, it appears to be thicker. So skip shaving, use like a hair removal mousse, or use at-home waxing, or go to the salon and get waxed. The <laughs> hair doesn't grow at the same angle when you remove it that way, so it's a little bit, you know, it'll grow in. Okay, ingrown hairs maybe. Okay. Isn't it, but isn't it true that everything that you cut grows back longer? Like you trim your ends, you know, all no, the things you have? No, no, it's not. When you trim your ends, your hair looks thicker. Prune roses, they grow back. I don't do flowers. I just <laughs> do <laughs> I don't know about that. Thanks to Jen Fowler for a complete list of all the beauty myths. You can check out our website when we come back. Find out how to grill a pizza right on the barbecue this 4th of July. That was the hottest pizza <laughs> I have ever eaten. More twofold. Yeah. Well, good night. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank and Mary Bell is going to come back to guest host with us on Monday. And you can see her on One Life to Live every weekday right here on ABC. Enjoy the view. <laughs>